what is it like, you know, rookie year, being here at All Star Weekend, getting a chance to experience this whole thing? You know, what is what has it been like here this, this past you know, 24 hours or so? Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it's a blessing. I mean, uh, it's something I watch every single year growing up, uh, just to finally be a part of it. It's definitely a lot of fun, uh, just to be here with all the great rookies and sophomores and some some All Stars here. So. It's definitely a lot of fun. Really looking forward to playing tonight's game. Does it does it feel? I mean, obviously you're playing in the game tonight. You know, the Rising Stars game. Is it? Does it feel like you're part of the weekend? Does it feel like you know, you, do, you start thinking about what it'll be like to, down the road to maybe be here playing on Sunday? Like, uh, what is it? What is it like? You know, being part of the Rising Stars. Yeah, Sunday? I mean, I definitely feel a part of the whole weekend. I mean, uh, obviously the goal is to obviously play on Sundays and the real All Star game. But this is definitely a great accomplishment for a rookie. Uh, I mean, uh, this is something that a lot of rookies love. Uh, to do is just to play in this game in this rookie sophomore game so or u.s and world game so uh, i mean hopefully the the goal is to get to the all-star game but i'm having a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to it well obviously you guys played last night in atlanta uh that was a big win um how how stressful has the last few weeks been as you guys have been trying to you know, obviously break this losing streak and uh, uh yeah I mean, around. it's been tough i mean uh, 18 game losing streak uh but we just went out there just con kept competing kept playing hard uh, lost some close game get some playoff teams that we should have won uh, but every single day, we're just going to come stay together, go out there and compete, play hard. And uh, last night, I think we played 48 minutes to just playing together, communicating on both ends, just playing hard. What what has it been like? You know, obviously, last year you played at Kentucky, get drafted, you come in the league. What has kind of the, the growth uh, cycle been like for you these past few months? You kind of adjusted to having to play against, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of the guys who are here, yeah. you know, playing at All-Star Weekend, you know, playing small forwards, one of the toughest positions in the league. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely definitely something I got, I got better at towards since the beginning of the season. Beginning of the season, I had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of a lot of struggling games and stuff like that, but I'm just starting to get the pace of the game, get a feel for the game, uh, get some experience both defensively and offensively. So, like you said, small four positions, definitely one of the hardest put, uh, positions to play. A lot of great players play this position, so it's definitely tough to go out there and play both sides of basketball, but it's only going to make me better. Who's the guy when you went up against him this year for the first time, you were like, man, like I can't believe I'm, I'm playing against this guy? Or is yeah, that, I mean, it's probably had a bunch of times. What yeah, was the it's first happened time? a lot. I mean, uh, Kevin Durant is one of my favorite players growing up, so finally being on the court with him was pretty cool. Paul George, I uh, got to guard him. Uh, so Giannis, uh, some of those guys, I kind of watched a lot of film on growing up. Just to finally be on the court against and going against him was pretty cool. What, what what is kind of going through your head when you are going up against, say, Kevin Durant or Paul George for the first time? Like, what, uh, like what, what goes through your head? I mean, you're just trying to get a defensive stop, man. I mean, you're just trying to go out there, just compete, play hard. Uh, I mean, a lot of those older guys love when you go out there and just play hard and just be aggressive against them. Uh, don't be uh, scared uh, that, that you're in their presence. So, I mean, I just went out there, just play hard, uh, just compete on both sides of basketball, offensively being aggressive, trying to attack, defensively trying to get stops. James Harden's a guy everybody's talking about a lot right yeah. now. You know, I know you don't necessarily specifically guard him, but mm -hmm. what, what is it like being on the court with him, kind of watching him go like this in the middle of obviously a pretty incredible streak he's on? Yeah, he's definitely on a historic streak. I mean, uh, he's one of play probably the hardest people to guard in NBA history just because of his ability to get to the rim, knock down contested threes, get to the free throw line. So. I mean, uh, I got to guard him a couple times, but just watching him on the court, on the bench, uh, doing what he's doing, it's definitely, it's definitely crazy what he's doing. When, when you're matched up with him on the perimeter, like what, how do you, how do you try to guard him? Like what, like yeah, I know I mean, there's not really a good answer, but like what, what do you, what did you, what do you try to do in that spot? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, uh, he loves his right hand step back. That's his signature move, uh, but it's kind of hard because he, he really draws a lot of fouls on the three points. So he's got to be able to contest it. Uh, it's kind of hard to let him go right because he does a step back. So he kind of. It's hard. It's kind of weird saying that you don't want to make him go left because he's left-handed, yeah. but he's really right-hand because uh, of the step back. So, I mean, it's really tough. He's t probably one of the hardest people to guard in the NBA. He's got to do as best he can. How frustrating is that step back when you are guarding it? Because, like, I mean, especially, I mean, you're a bigger guy than him, mm -hmm. right? Like, you stand in front of him, you kind of do everything right, yeah. and you, he can really kind of get that off yeah. no matter where he's at. Yeah, I mean, so I've seen very few people block his step back. I mean, and if you do block, it's, it's going to be a foul a lot of times. Right. So. Uh, he just does a great job of just knocking down contested shots. I mean, uh, that's definitely a skill uh, that you got to uh, put a lot of work in, a lot of shots up uh, every single day in the summer, uh, off season, during the season. He puts a lot of work in to be able to knock those shots down. The last few weeks, I know you've got into the starting lineup. You've had a chance to kind of grow a little bit. Your numbers have gone up a little bit. It, has that just been a matter of gaining more confidence? Have you learned some stuff that you've been able to apply? Like, what's allowed you to have been able to kind of take some steps forward here the past uh, few weeks? One of just my confidence is just going out there, just playing my game, uh, knocking down shots, uh, getting to my spots uh, that I like to shoot at. And uh, just just my teammates, they do a really good job of just helping me, keeping me up, staying up throughout this whole process. They know rookie seasons can be ups and downs. Uh, 
so, I mean, a lot of people struggle during the rookie season, but they do help me watching film uh, just to see areas in the game that I can get better at. There, there's a lot of talk, obviously, about the summer in New York. Uh, you know, with certain guys wanting to come play in New York, mm -hmm. potentially. Is it hard to block out some of the noise about that stuff, or even the Chris S trade or different mm -hmm. stuff that's happened, and, and focus on what you've got to do, you know, in the day-to-day? -day? Yeah, no, nah, not really. I mean, uh, we just stay stick to the people that's in your locker room. I mean, that's all it is. I mean, we stay together. Uh, we know there's a lot of stuff going on, but we let the front office handle that. We just go out there. Uh, we do what we love as playing basketball. So we don't really pay attention to none of that free agency stuff, none of the people leaving and stuff like that. So I mean, it was definitely tough to see those people leave because they, they, they did a really good job of just helping us out through the, throughout this whole process. So mm -hmm. it was definitely tough. But I mean, the free agency and stuff like that, we didn't pay attention to. We just go out there and just play hard and compete. I know, know you're a proud Kentucky guy. You're looking ahead to the Final Four. What do you, who do you see getting there at this point? Uh, I mean, I think we have a really good shot. I mean, we have a big time game tomorrow against Tennessee. Uh, it'll be a big time win for us. I mean, uh, we have we're really deep this year. Uh, I mean, we have a great bench, a good guys that's coming off. PJ Washington playing great basketball. We got uh, Tyler Hero. We got uh, Kelvin Johnson. Uh, some of the other guys too that are playing really good basketball. So there's got to be a to that to that tournament. I mean, it's definitely tough. I mean, tournament playing teams that basically want to lose, want to go home. So everyone's got you got to play basically 40 minutes perfect. So. I mean, it's definitely tough. I mean, especially my experience in tournament. You guys gonna beat Duke if you play? Yeah, I think uh, I think it'd be def totally different, totally different outcome this year uh, if we played them a second time. Yeah, we played them for like third, fourth game of the season. Right. I mean, it was tough, and everyone struggled at the beginning of the season. We got, we got, we got smacked. I give people talk trash all the time, but it's always tough. If we played them tomorrow, it'd be definitely a different outcome.